Greetings, fellow Tarnished. It is the Ash Heritor. Welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last episode, we plundered the secrets of the Frenzied Village. We extinguished the Flame of Frenzy atop the tower and we fought a champion, afflicted by Frenzy itself and claimed his weapon. But in turn... Unfortunately, some might say, but... Well, that's not quite how it is in our eyes anymore. Fortunately, in doing all of this, we have discovered a truth, a path forward. We will follow the light. We will take the fingerprint grape, Hyetta, and she will help us guide the, or she will help us find where we need to go. Two other things have been made clear to us. The Frenzy inhabits many. And among those that I believe that it inhabits is the merchants. The nomadic merchants. So we are going to see if we can extract a confirmation out of one of them. I haven't determined which one yet. But we're going to have to see. Now, let's see where we can go. I know we need to go back. We definitely do need to go back, but... There are more things to do up here. I feel. I feel that there are more things to do up here. There is, of course, the church. Not, not the Church of Inhibition where we started, but rather the... Ah, uh, look at this. What is down here? Oh, this is the approach to the Frenzied Flame Tower. Yeah, of course. Alright, alright, alright. Cannot remember where the church was. The one that said Erudition Guide Thee. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like Erudition was doing anything for us when we went there. Makes me think there might be more to it. But I also don't know if I can discover that in my current state. Eh, that looks that looks lethal. Let's turn around. Go up to the back here. Perhaps there's just nothing. Perhaps this really is everything. I suppose it is. Well. Alright then. Return here. We'll talk to Lightseeker Hyeda. Interesting that she has that part of her name now. She didn't used to be called Lightseeker Hyeta. We'll be giving her the fingerprint grapes. An eye imprinted with burning fingerprint. Taken from the skull of the champion Vike, whose spear we now wield. He was clutched by burning hands. By burning fingers, you might say. Three of them. I would even argue. There special grapes which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Yeah. Please, could you donate a fingerprint grape to me? I certainly will. Without one, I don't know. I feel like I might go mad. I feel like if we give this to her, it will bestow a madness upon her. But I don't honestly believe that she will succumb to it. I believe her role is different from the other or unfortunate fools who have succumbed to the frenzy. They aren't like us. They don't see the light like you do, and they aren't untouched by the frenzy like I am. Oh. Oh. A fingerprint grape. Tried and true. What a wondrous thing. A fingerprint grape. <laughs> Yet, how it burns. Thank you. I've composed myself again. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. Yes, blessing of the fingers indeed. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I'm sure I'll be a finger maiden. I'm sure too. Yep, good jump there. Real good jump there. Alright. 
Now, there's one other quest line that we can activate, and there's one other thing that we can do in Roundtable Hold. Remember how I said, uh... There didn't seem to be any progression with Fia and... Rogier? Well, I went back to Roundtable Hold and I saw something. I didn't talk to anybody, so... Hopefully that didn't trigger anything. So I went back to upgrade this weapon, of course. But I certainly saw something. First, we're gonna go talk to White Mask Vare. Now, he doesn't have any of my loyalty, nor does this Lord of Blood have any of my loyalty. For now, I will be Hayata's protector, and I will guide her as she guides me. It's a mutually beneficial arrangement, in my opinion. We'll see how beneficial it is for her in the end, but... You know, that just waits to be seen. So let's go to the Blood Church. We have ourselves the shawl... ...of a maiden. Sorry, the blood-stained shawl of a maiden. Yes, I know, he's standing right there. Don't don't you worry. Okay, I'm just gathering these, and I'm gonna kill that guy. I'm still hoping he'll drop something someday. This weapon is so cool, by the way. I did some PvP with it, with a friend of mine. We did some lovely, lovely dueling. Um, including some pretty goofy places to duel, like dueling under the stomping feet of the walking mausoleum. <laughs> Added a nice extra sense of danger for us. It was good fun. It was good fun. All right. So, Fari. Ah, my lambkin. You've completed your final trial. And with this, you are a formal inductee. A knight who will assist Luminary Moog, the Lord of Blood, in the establishment of a new dynasty. Now, give me your finger. This noble blood will be an immutable badge of honor once it settles hmm. inside of you. Off a finger. Oh, good heavens. Clench your teeth or something. <laughs> Interesting. He didn't even touch us, but it did something. It's like... new bloody finger. Alright. This is, I assume, the permanent invasion item. Let's read the lore on it. If there is lore on it, oftentimes there aren't with these, unfortunately. But I feel like this one might have lore. Because of the way how we got it. Is that here? Jesus Christ. I don't know where any of this stuff is. No, it's not here. It's not here. It's gonna be here. There we go. Temps Invasions, indeed. It is a uh, permanent, festering bloody finger. Glistening blood has been siphoned into the nail of this finger. Its sickly pale skin feels nothing now, but the nail still aches with sweetest pain. Alright. Oh, another thing. You should have this. Hmm. Pure Blood Knight Metal. All right. A medal granted by the new Moguin dynasty. Moguin. The power to grant audience with Luminary Moog. Hmm. I've gone out of my way to provide one to you. But you mustn't use it just yet. The meeting must wait until the Moguin dynasty commences. Luminary Moog yet slumbers beside the divinity. The divinity. We must endure a little longer. Bet this is a key to one of the endings. Really feels that way. Ah, it is trying, but we must be patient. One day you will be elevated, deservedly, basking in love. Right, my lambkin? <laughs> <laughs> right. Of course. We'll see. We shall see. It might be... In fact, I'm fairly certain there's another path calling to us. But we'll see how that all plays out. Perhaps... Perhaps the path that we're currently set on... ...is not for us in the end.
So, what I found was here. Roger. Not looking so good, is he? He said there was a transformation coming, and that he wanted to apologize in advance for whatever might happen. See the roots coming out from underneath his, uh... Blanket. I feel like the transformation is already happening, that it already was happening before, but now it's taking a different toll. You aren't long for this world, are you? Talk to Fia, see what she has to say. Or perhaps D might say something. Hello there. What can I do for you? Nothing, it would seem. Very well. I always go the wrong way. <laughs> Without fail. I don't know, I just get turned around here. It's the circular nature of the room. I just, uh, I don't know. Anything new for you? I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still a. F Would you like. No. Yeah. Let's uh, see if there's any talk secretly going on here. You are so. No. Okay. Dear Roger. Like the ancient plot, the black knives wielded along with the impressions they made. Then good day to you, my dear. I wonder what we're supposed to do with the black knife print. Let me read that one more time. See if there's a clue hidden within the text. That's what we're supposed to do with it. On the night of the black knives, someone stole a fragment of death from Malaketh, the black blade, and imbued its power into the assassin's daggers. This mark is evidence of the ritual and hides the truth of the conspiracy. You know what? Because we know Ronnie's involved. I am going to go and talk to Ronnie about this. And see if she has anything to say about us carrying the black knife print. I wonder if that's going to trigger any interesting dialogue. I wonder if she's going to try and take it from us. Or perhaps... And it's more, I mean, I, I personally think probably nothing's going to happen. But I want to make sure. And I feel like if something is going to happen, she's not going to care all that much. Because she did basically flat out admit it without any concern. I don't think she's concerned about concealing the, what she did. Uh, this is interesting. Okay. We can't talk to her. Are you... Are you dead? Are, really? She's asleep. Interesting. Okay. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. That is a change in state. There's also the matter of... Well, we're up in this area. We found a note. Preceptor Saluvis is hiding a dirty secret in a cellar amongst the ruins not far from the Sisters Three. Ruins not far from the Sisters Three. Is that so? Where might we have some ruins around here? King's Realm Ruins. You know what? That is the closest ruins I can find. Unless, of course, she's referring to one of these towers, but... I, uh, well, ooh, or here. There's ruins here. They just don't appear on the map. But that doesn't necessarily mean they... He's not talking about those. So I wonder if this note actually triggers something to show up, rather than it being something that we can find there. Is this is going to determine whether or not I give the potion to Nefeli Lu. You know, we may be going down a dark path, but... There's still some people we'll try and keep alive. And Nefeli Lu has helped us. I have no reason to betray her. Even if it means denying one of my current colleagues in the task that I'm currently doing. I say currently, it's not really all that current. Just 
looking around. So we're looking for a cellar. Fortunately, the visibility here is atrocious. Well, it certainly took a while. And confirmed there are invisible floors. So, we're back up here. <laughs> I poked around at a lot of things down here and then came back up. Poked around everything and, you know, saw a floor that looked a little bit wonky. I did not record poking it because I was like, surely they won't put an invisible floor here, but, uh, there it is. Down we go. I'm assuming this is the place. What do you have in here? Ooh, what are you? No, seriously, what are you? This is a little, uh... What the fuck? Oh my god. We've seen them before. Are you dead? You better be dead. It's dead. One of the omen killers. And you are... I don't know what you are. I haven't seen you before. But also dead. All sitting up straight. Why? I'm just expecting there to be something alive in here. I don't know, what's, what's on the ceiling? Okay, it's just roots. I'm very creeped out. This is, uh, unusual to say the least. Something there. Something that we can interact with. But I want to look at these bodies first. We have... Why are they all sitting there like this? An aristocrat? From the looks of it? And... Priestess of some kind? But what is with this pose? It's almost like they're stuck on something, like they're impaled. You know, something... Yeah, I don't want to say exactly how, because that, that's getting into some gross territory. A, a pothead. I, I don't mean the 420 type. No, I'm talking the real the real deal. This, this here. That is a pothead. Alright, what the fuck is this? Saluvis's puppet. Do not touch. What? I'm suspecting there's an invisible wall somewhere. Oh. What's this? Selen? Is that you? Why are you here? I mean, if it is you, it could not be you. What the fuck? That's absolutely Selen. I mean, unless there's another one that looks like her. What? The fuck is Saluvis up to? Can I... I don't know if I want to hit her, but... Okay, it does nothing. Remember we found... Somebody else that looked exactly like Selen imprisoned in a cage? Down all the way in the Weeping Peninsula, right down here. I still have it marked on my map. Because I'm still wondering what the fuck is up with that. And then there's the Selen... Here... He's basically been excommunicated from Rhea Lucaria. The preceptor... I don't think he's associated with Rhea Lucaria, though, because the Carrions... We found another preceptor here in the Carrion study hall, and I wish I remembered his name, but I don't. I don't think it was Saluvis, though. He wore the same type of hat, I will say. Okay, I wonder if there's more. But what, what is down here? What is this? What purpose does it serve? At first glance, I thought, oh, is he the one using these guys? But no, now I think it's just like he's got a collection of people. To what end? Can we talk to him about this? Or should I be talking to somebody else about this? I have a feeling if I talk to him about this, he might get upset. But... Uh, 
want to ask him. Definitely want to ask him. I want to know what, what this is. So we need to go back that way. Saluvis's Rise. It's the one uh, all the way down there. So we're going to check to see if there's like more of these floors. Because it, it did look semi-distinctive. It looked different. Which is what kind of made it stand out for me, obviously. But it wasn't like super noticeable. Okay. Well, I'm not going to go back and look for more. Um, so there's one like right down here. Can we survive this? Let's find out. I think we can. We'll probably take a bit of damage. No, we didn't even take damage. Okay, looking around, I, do, I don't see more floors like it. Because it was it was definitely like, there was no grass. It was, it was predominantly stone. Mm, no, this is too broken. Doesn't look like that. Mm, it wasn't something like this. No. Okay. Alright, Salubus. It's your deal. I've no time for idle chit-chat. The only thing I will hear from you is a report of your task's completion. Oh, is that so? Are we understood? Then off you trot. I have enough on my plate. Yeah? Yeah, he doesn't want to talk. Hmm. Going to sell him. Okay, we are going to sell him. And ask her what the hell this is all about. I wonder, are we going to find other people like that? Imprisoned, trapped by shards of crystal in other locations around the world? That are then being, like, transmuted to this place? There you are, my apprentice. Shall we commence the lesson? Still nothing to say. I am so confused. I wonder if we can now say something new to Nefeli Lu. She is in the Table of Lost Grace. Sorry, guys, if this is a like a, a non-action episode for now. Don't worry, I will do something before the end of it. But I'm trying to work out what the fuck's going on here. Lore-wise. Where was she? I think she was down there. Yeah, here you are. Please, leave me nothing. It's pathetic, I know, but I, I need to think. Well, what do you need to think about? What, what, what went wrong? I know she was disturbed by what happened in the Albanoric village. And we have a link between what happened in the Albanoric village and Saluvis. Because of the, uh, the masked person. Again, I don't know if it's, like, something specific. I don't know. We can talk Journey to... to the capital, the yeah, I know. You may be our oh. Yeah, so I, I went to him thinking, like, you know, he's Nefeli's foster father, so maybe he knows something about what's going on with her, and, well... Ah. You've already heard. Indeed. It seemed the whelp harbored suspicions. Suspicions? Well, I had no further use for her. What? Honestly, what's a man to do? A determined plebeian is more wicked than an omen horn, quite frankly. What? I suspect that's just what the Queen wants. A dose of ambition to incite the tarnished. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what do you mean by that? You dismissed her? But what for? I, I don't understand. I feel like I'm missing something. But we can show him Saluvis's potion too. Goddamn. All right. Is that potion what I think it is? Yeah, what is it? Bloody Salavis. I suppose he's up to something again. Oh, I won't interfere. You go ahead and do what you must. The round table has no code to speak of. Hmm. But, I ask you this. Are you really going to do the bidding of that twisted dolly botherer? Dolly oh, botherer. Would you rather hand that potion to me? And see if we can't get one over on the bastard. Oh, yeah. Good. I'll dispose of the potion myself. You go and see Salavis, but don't give anything away. Obviously. Just tell him that you tricked your mark into drinking the potion, as planned. Despite knowing next to bloody nothing, he's so far up his own ass he won't suspect a thing. His inevitable display of arrogance will certainly be a sight to behold. 
Maybe I can talk to Nefeli Lu now. I hope so. Otherwise, I'll try and reset the area and do it. I am confused at how these stories are interacting. I feel like there's going to be a moment where it clicks, oh, but I don't know yet. Please, it's pathetic. I heard from Gideon. So you know already, do you? Right. It's true. My father cast me out for indulging my emotions. Forgetting the mission. Punishment for offing his pawns. Huh. Father. Mother. Lord Gideon has oh. offered me guidance all my life. Oh. I would have done anything for him. To place him on the throne of Elden Lord. And yet I... Though it was not my intent, I betrayed him. What did you do? Was We found her at the Albanoric village, very upset about what had happened there. Did he send the people to the Albanoric village? The omen killers? He said something about more dangerous than an omen's horn, which implies that he's not fond of omens, and he's keeping an omen chained here as a blacksmith. I gotta wonder. Uh, hmm. And I can no longer trust him, Father. Okay, I think yeah. He'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Okay, confirmed. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord, he would never allow the downtrodden to be cheated ever again. Was he simply lying to me? I think he was probably doing a uh, something for the greater good, but we know that's always a road to great things in the end. No, no, no. How could I say that? Father has always given me his guidance. And now, I've lost it. No, how could I say that? Father has, and now... If he was giving you his guidance this entire time, and then cast you out because you... intervened in something that you thought was right, then he wasn't giving you guidance. I wonder if you have anything to say. Nope. I don't think she'll have anything to say, so I'm not going to bother. She seems very detached from the whole thing. I don't think Fia has anything to do with any of these guys either. Um, it's a shame. The, the guy that was standing here is gone. Well, we can talk to him. Oh, you're still not doing very well. Is there anything down here? Anything new going on down here? We can check that in a minute. Maybe. I don't know. What's up, Gideon? What 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 did you do? Who did you? To the capital, yeah, I get it. Maybe our... He doesn't say anything else. Damn it! Limited dialogue options. God, the finger maidens aren't gonna say. Or the finger uh, the maiden husks aren't gonna say anything. <laughs> they never talk. What about the fingers? I'm gonna feel comfortable around you. I feel if there was a third one, I'd feel more. Comfortable around them. <sighs> Nothing. Receive equipment of champions. Oh yeah, right. We can buy Renala's um, set here. Yeah, we, we've already uh, we've already read all of this. But I mean, we could buy some of this. Yeah, why not? Let's buy the pants. They're probably nice. Uh, I'll, I'll buy the whole set eventually. I, I do like to own all of the sets. Okay. Next course of action, we go back to Saluvis's rise. All right, we're gonna we're gonna confront him again. Uh, we don't want to do that there, though. That will get us nowhere. Probably, we never have to go into the Carrion Manor ever again. <laughs> Been through there once. Don't have any particular desire to return because fuck that place. All right. I get the sneaking suspicion. I mean, Gideon the All-Knowing, how much does he really know? Like, how All-Knowing is he? Did he get the right measure of Saluvis, or did he underestimate Saluvis? I'm of the sneaking suspicion he probably has underestimated Saluvis, and that Saluvis will know right away that we did not do his bidding. That we ditched the potion, but you never know. So you made Nefeli drink the potion. Yeah. Well done. 
You are a touch more useful okay. than I had thought. Very well. Then you shall have your gift. Knowledge of the sorceress arts and of the tutelage of the great preceptor Salavis. I doubt much of it will lay within the grasp of a mere tarnished, but if you put your mind to it, perhaps you won't embarrass our lady. You wish to begin right this moment? Yeah. Well, your impatience, though boorish, is understandable. Let's have at it. Uh, ah, here we go. Now we're talking. Oh. So, you had Nefeli drink the potion? Truly? Hmm. Then perhaps something was amiss with it. Yeah, okay. It's concocted from the finest ingredients, but perhaps I should review the recipe. What were you attempting to do? Too much if at the beginning, then. About your chambers. You break into a man's private <laughs> chambers, rooting about as you please. Your oafishness knows no bounds. Fine and well. You tricked Nefeli and had her drink the potion. I believe that makes you my accomplice. You yearn for a puppet of your own, hmm? Making puppets. Well, normally one of your stature would never be allowed. But perhaps I can make a very special exception. Now. Oh, God. He's trying to make a puppet out of Nefeli. Finger Maiden... What the fuck? Summons a spirit of a puppet? Or the Jar White Spirit? One of Celevis's puppets used to summon the spirit of the Finger Maiden Therolina. Spirit of Finger Spirit of Finger Maiden who never met the tarnished she was meant to guide. Uses healing incantations and holy water pots. But she is not a fighter by nature and is ill-suited to battle. A maiden without a tarnished. A tarnished without a maiden. And yet no guide to bring them together. Was this the tarnished? No. One of Celevis's puppets used to summon the spirit of a jar white. A jar white. Okay. Spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a... What the fuck? Right. Let me read that again. Spirit of a man who wished to become the innards of a living jar. A jar hurling specialist who throws all manner of pots and jars. The warrior jar once told the nameless man this. You are not ready to join the warriors inside. No. You must apply yourself. Better yourself. And one day, I will return for you. They're literally, like... Going into these jars. We find raw meat dumplings. And these raw meat dumplings are the remnants of, like, chopped up people that have been put inside these jars. And they continue serving as warriors, but now as, like, jars of meat. It's fucked up. I'm, I'm going with the Finger Maiden here. Uh... Healer? Spirit? <laughs> Hell yeah. Give me that. Study sorcery. What do you know? Carrion Phalanx. One of the sorceries of the Carrion royal family. He's obviously aligned with them. Creates a defensive arch of numerous magic glint blades overhead, which automatically attack nearby foes. An enhanced version of the glint blade sorcery used by enchanted knights. And then we have the Carrion Retaliation. This was the Carrion royal family's secret means to prepare against the disloyalty of the Academy. The moon and stars would one day go their separate ways. Indeed. So, the Carrion royal family, of course, with Renala and Rani and... everything we've encountered up around this place, is associated with the moon. And the stars are associated with the Rhea Lucaria Academy. And we know, we've worked out that the sorcerers of Rhea Lucaria have actually imprisoned Renala up in her tower. And I have theories about, like, what she's been doing up there, that the people that she's been rebirthing are actually Albanoric, Um Various different stages of the Albanoric life form, because we've seen, like, Albanoric come in two distinct, possibly even more distinct forms. The, the regular, like, degenerated human form and the froggy form. It's quite possible that those little children that we were fighting were also Albanorix. Um, but I think that the sorcerers have been taking them and casting them out of the academy, and the Albanorix have just been, like, surviving. You know, they've been they've been thrown out of the academy, but they've managed to survive in the uh, Lyurnia region and have just spread out and formed their own little civilizations here and there. Glintstone Ice Crag. Uh, sorcery said to have been used by the old Snow Witch. The old Snow Witch. Who's the old Snow Witch? I don't think we've heard of her yet. 
The snowy crown... Oh, the snowy crone taught the young Rani to fear the dark moon as she imparted her cold sorcery. Okay. Rani's mentor, I guess. Damn, there's a lot of lore in these. Then we have Freezing Mist, also said to originate from her. The snowy... Same, same description. But all right. It gets weirder and weirder. We now have a... A puppet... Finger Maiden. Is he turning them into spirits? Is that what he's doing? Like their bodies are trapped there? Inert and their spirits have been detached? And was he attempting to do that with uh, Nefeli Lu? There's nothing we can do for the ones that he's already taken, I'm assuming. But I am glad we stopped him from doing that to Nefeli Lu. So... We have finished Lyurnia. I mean, yes, I know there's this, I know there's this. But I believe that these lead out of Lyurnia up to Altus, and I don't want to do Altus yet. So, at long last, we're going to Kaelid. We're going to Kaelid. It's been a long time coming. I've been wanting to come here for quite some time, because I like the hellish landscape quite a lot. You know, it... Just looks, looks lovely. The ambience is great. Super sinister. It's all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna actually, um, yeah, it looks like there's a big Erd tree here, so... I mean, I don't know what gave that away. We're gonna go this way first. Probably another Erd tree spirit for us to fight. More of these guardians. We're dying easily enough with this. This is the spear is quite good that it does fire damage. That's going to help us out a lot against this Erd Tree fight, I think. Um, but let's make sure we can summon Latena. Sorry, or uh, mobile? No, not mobile. She's quite immobile, actually. But our uh, our flat cannon. You should make good work of them. I want to level up the uh, the spirit, um, the finger maiden spirit. And then I do want to use her at some point, but I won't do that just yet. What is this? A faded earth leaf flowers. Right, we find these here. Uh, yeah, alright, I can already see them. I'm gonna kill all these guys first, because I don't want to deal with them. If I have to make a retreat, do not want to be retreating into these guys. Okay, you hit me. Congrats. That was a, that was a combo. Should have realized that was a combo. But we're doing pretty okay. There's uh, one up there, there's another one up there, and an item as well. I don't know how we're going to get to that. Actually, I think I know how we can get to that. I think we can jump up right along here. Yes, indeed. This is probably a jump that is, horse yak thing is required for. Oh boy. We're up kind of high. Uh, well, it was a solid attempt. It took a little bit of damage. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's take this one out first. Come down here. Good. Oh, we missed. Not this time, though. And you're up there still. I don't want to fight you up there, actually, so I'm switching to the... Oh, I, I don't even have my bow equipped. Screw that. We don't need the bow. We have this. Sup, buddy? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so cool. It is so cool. <laughs> yeah, how the hell do we get up there? I, I feel like this isn't the right way to do it. I <laughs> feel like I'm needlessly damaging myself. Yeah, this is, this is foolish. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm so close! Yes, I did! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that was dumb. Let's be real. This was dumb. I dismount? I, I, I'm confused. I can no longer dismount. Excuse me? I'm pressing the button. I cannot dismount. Is this my punishment? I'm not supposed to be up here. Let's, let's get to that item. Can we not do a, like... Giant turn? Can I just do a small one to get to this? What is this? It's a purple item, too. That's cool. Ah, just a rune arc. Alright. Now, I have an absolutely 
horrendous idea. And I think it's going to be beautiful. Okay. I think it's going to be wonderful. Now, this could backfire. <laughs> Use one of these. I'm going to summon her here. And... Uh, <laughs> I think you can guess what I'm going to do now. Alright. Can I do... Okay, we can dismount, finally. That's solid damage. Alright, he's shooting stars at me. Wait, this was a terrible idea, but I'm going up here. I can I can avoid it. That is so good. <laughs> We're gonna fucking cheese this fight. <laughs> Although he's shooting a lot of stars. To be fair, but now he's focused on her. Oh, she's gonna die quickly. But we're doing reasonable damage. That's most of his health already gone, but Latena's down, so... Alright, we have to now fight him. I don't think he can get up here, though. <laughs> now, we do need to be careful, because I can also die from falling, remember. Um, so we're gonna have to get down there somehow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel like we're in trouble. No, no, no. We might be okay. He's right down here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like an asshole. Uh-oh. This is getting dangerous. Let's just kill this thing. Can I aim it manually? No, I can't aim it at him. I'm going to have to fall down, and I feel like I'm going to take a lot of damage if I fall. Um, so let's actually mount up, and then we'll, we'll, we'll drop down normally. Because I think we can take the hit. Yes, we can. Indeed. All right. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so cool. All right, now I'm going to avoid. Dodge the stars, maybe? I don't know. Can we dodge them? We can. Here, we have another one. Oh my god. It is so good. Let's heal up and go up here. I don't think the stars can hit us. <laughs> wow. Easiest archery fight ever. Almost. Okay. Now we gotta be a little bit more careful. He's on to us. Nope, we don't want to do that now. He's, he's summoning more stars. Uh-oh, 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 boy, that dealt a lot of damage. Okay, we're not, we're not out of this yet. We almost died. We almost died. We almost, we almost ate shit for our, uh, our silly, silly efforts. <laughs> Mount up, please, now. That was clutch, but didn't end up helping us in the end. What the hell? He, he vanished? Did he go out of his, like, zone? Yeah, uh. Horsey, horsey act thing got wrecked. This is not a good place to dodge. I feel like this is a very rough fight if we have to fight him fairly, but we don't we don't do that kind of stuff here, so. Let's just uh laser him. Bye! Down he goes. Cool, what do we get out of it? Green burst crystal tier, flame shrouding cracked tier. Alright, so two new tiers to mix into our Wondrous Physic, which I should modify at this point. You know, the, the two I have, the heal and the, the shield, are really good. Um, but yeah, Flame Burst boosts fire attacks, which we do have fire attacks. Our basic spear uses fire attacks. And then there was the... what was it? Oh, green Burst, that was it. No, there's the Green Spill, and Green Burst is temporarily boosts stamina recovery speed. But that's also quite good. Um... Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Uh, <laughs> my apologies if you wanted to see that fought fairly. But I didn't feel like fighting one of those here. This is this is rough terrain to fight one of those things, because I rely so heavily on Horsiac thing <laughs> in the fights that I can use him. Um, that I feel like I would just get screwed. Ooh. That. Oh, Jesus, that's a big fucking jar an item there. Let's not go galloping towards it, though. That sounds like a very bad idea. Uh, this is risky. Very risky. And it'd be real nice if that giant archer over there didn't start shooting at us right now. That would be, that'd be hilarious. Hey, crackpot. Okay. 
And it's an extra throwing urn for us. That is nice. Speaking of the urns, I have holy urns equipped, but I also I've made a couple of uh, fire urns. Oh, and we have this fucking thing. I didn't even look at it. Proof that one is glory, or proof that one is a glorious knight of the new dynasty of Mogwin, that the Lord of Blood will inaugurate. Used to grant an audience with Mog. Only it is not yet time. For Mog yet slumbers beside the divinity. Be patient. The new dynasty is nigh. Okay. Well, at least it didn't tell us anything significant that we didn't already know. Um, where the hell are my... Oh, I guess I don't have any more. So I need to create some more. Ah, right, I use them all in PvP. <laughs> so, let's see here. Actually, oil pots is not a bad idea, considering I have a weapon that inflicts base fire damage. So, let's equip those. Add throwing knives for PvP as well. And, uh, got here? Is this regular mushroom? Toxic mushrooms. Okay. Those are not common. And, uh, yeah. Like I thought. I thought there was a door here, and it turns out there is. So, this is probably a catacomb. So, I'm guessing it's a catacomb. Oh, and there was the other... Shit, where was that? There was another death statue. It may have been pointing to the, um... Totally in the wrong place. There's another death statue, right? One of the statues of, uh, the Lord of... The, the Guide of the Dead. And I feel like it was around here somewhere. So I, I'm assuming it was probably pointed at that. But let's go down here and see what, see what we have. What kind of enemies we're gonna encounter. Let me check the, uh, duration on the recording, though. We're at, uh, ooh, boy. How much time do I have in the uh, first section of this episode? 22 minutes. Yeah, we're getting to kind of a long stage here. That's fine. I'm going to cut out some of this fucking imps. I forgot that these guys existed. Okay. Um, this is not the best weapon for them. I have to just assume they're everywhere. All right, I'm switching to the claws. I think holy damage is going to be effective here in these crypts. So we're going to do this crypt. I'm just going to hope it's not like a super long one. So who, who the hell knows? I'm going to check the walls too. Going this way first. Oh, that's Scarlet Rot if I've ever seen it. Oh, I don't like this. What are you? They're crabs. Okay, they're Scarlet Rot Crabs, because of course they are. All right, well, we can make preserving bolluses, but phew, we can't make many of them, that's for damn certain. Well, it's fine. We have, uh... We have Flame Cleanse Me. That can remove Scarlet Rot, so I will keep that at the ready. I'm switching to the Double Claws here. Ooh. What's this? What does it do? Is it a trap? I bet it's a trap. Oh. Lift. Lift that we can drop under. Nice. This was the lift that we came down on, right? Uh, let's not be stupid about this. Wait, what? Yep, fairly effective. Okay. Yep, this is gonna suck. Ugh. There are safe points. There just aren't many of them. Oh god, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna- Ah, oh, I shouldn't be rolling. We know that already. And they're on the ceiling, because of course they are. Well, fuck it. We're just going, going, going. All right. Ah, oh, I've got Scarlet Rot. Ain't it delightful! It does a shit ton of damage. All right, we have removed the Scarlet Rot. Okay, let's not get tagged by them. And I need to stop rolling. <laughs> Ah, shit. Well, this was a waste of time and effort. How do we get out of here? Huh? Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking it. It's fine. I also have two flasks. Okay, here we go. There's a way out. 
Let's uh, use the fire cleanse me. It's more. Now that we're out of immediate, probably rot danger territory. Any uh, any imps around here? Any you guys hanging from the ceiling? You bastards. You around that corner? What about this corner? Ceiling? Walls? Anything? Look for traps on the ground? What are you guys? They're just crabs. They keep confusing me with their appearance. But yeah, they're just normal... Catacomb crabs. Uh, they don't seem too happy with me. But it's fine. We, uh... We don't need to be antagonistic to them. They're just minding their own business. We also need to uh, use our flask of cerulean tears. I should have rested at that. Sight of grace at the beginning. Ah, hi. I see you guys. Just, just two. You first. Okay. You coming down? Are there any on the ceiling? Something up there. Ooh, something's dying somewhere. That's interesting. What was that? Nothing. Okay, making our way through. More ghost glove work. Upgrade our uh, companions even more. This is a very close range weapon, but it's got good stagger. It's very fast. Uses basically no stamina. And you can I can just carry it for free because it weighs zero. Uh, I think I mentioned that in the last episode. What do we got here? Great, another imped. A wolf imped. What do you have to say? You have to say anything different from the other imped? This one resembling a cat, yeah. Lupine Endurance, huh? <laughs> Alright, well now we're up here. There are indeed imps. Oh, these ones throw fire! That's... new. Indeed, they have a different head. Ow, that hurt. Actually hurt quite a lot. Yep, you go down there. Alright, we'll get... Ooh, Grave Glove Work 5. That's... that's big. I'm just going to assume there's a hidden passage here somewhere. Just going to make that assumption. All right, and the walls are pretty damn indistinguishable. Okay. Well, not here. What about on the other side? Any more imps up here? Oh, there's another item. Missed that. Sacramental Bud. Okay, well, that's what we need for making the anti-scarlet rot stuff, so that's nice, but I don't feel like wasting those at the moment. Uh, I don't need to fight you fairly. I have a solution for you. Okay, fair enough. Pretty effective. Okay, I don't see like a lever or anything here. Was a lever seriously just... There was a lever, but I think that was just the, the lever for the lift. So it's... Here, was it? Could it have been in here? No, right? It's just a person slumped over the coffin. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing it. Okay, well... Don't, we're dropping down. I'm concerned about these guys, but we can avoid them. Aeonian Butterfly, okay? I suppose that's to be expected with all this Scarlet Rot stuff. We know that the Aeonian Butterflies are heavily associated with the Scarlet Rot. How much damage does this do? It's actually fairly reasonable at killing these. Problem is, is there's a lot of them right here, so... I think I'm actually going to just kill these things, because they're obnoxious. Actually, I have a better idea. I have, I have a solution here. Let's just do it like this. That's effective. <laughs> Did you guys drop anything interesting? Glass shards. Wonderful. <laughs> oh god, there's more of them. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore them for now. I'll take the Scarlet Rot. It's fine. A little bit of Scarlet Rot never killed no one. Well, I mean... I am lost. So that's the way down, but... So unless this... I think this just calls the elevator down, so... We need to go the other way. But I went this way, didn't I? Or did I not? No, I definitely didn't. I have no health, though, so... This is... 
definitely going to be problematic. But hey, at least if we die, we can only go this way. All right, I know this is a mistake running blindly out into a room because there's another one right here. And I was aware that there would be another one right there, but it was okay. I wanted to deal with the asshole throwing stuff at me. Ow! We're almost dead. We're really almost dead. Oh, you little jerk. Dodging like that. Oh. Well, death by imps. Gets the best of us. Grab our runes. Take one hit, that's fine. Okay, calm down. Yes, more glove wart, and that is the lever. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I handedly deserve that. <laughs> I was like, cool, let's go into the room and look for the lever. It's, it's the end. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it would have happened if I wasn't in the wrong place. <laughs> ah, I'll learn eventually. <laughs> I feel like I'm just unlearning <laughs> all of the things I have learned. All right, at least I looked up this time. Or, you know, the instances when we didn't have to. Let's go back, we'll heal, and I'll kind of rejigger my flasks. Um, but where was it? We just sprint through. I think I just sprint through. I switched to that so that I can fire, fire cleanse me when we get to the end. And we run here. Ah, we don't even need it. Delightful. Um, then let's be ready and summon Latena. Though, admittedly, that would be the best fight for her, because I imagine we're going to be in close quarters. Oh, for fuck's sake. Two of them? Alright, well, I'm going to summon Latena anyways. Hope that this works. I have an idea. She's gonna get killed really fast. I'm gonna get killed really fast. Let's be real here. They do a lot of damage. She's still. Oh, she's she's dead already. All right, but I wanted to do this. Okay. See what kind of damage this does. Nothing. All right. Not worth it. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't the worst. But now I need to fight two of you bastards, which is not gonna be easy. Switch back to... I guess, I guess we're just doing it. We're just gonna do it. I'd like to... Oh boy. Not like that. Not like this. Heal, heal, heal. Dodge! Ah! This is... Man! This is hard. So I need to summon the skeleton militia. What actually needs to happen here next time. Ooh! This is difficult. Oh, and you cast. Because of course you do. Yeah, I was dead. I realized, okay, two two potions. I need to write down one of these guys really quickly. Um, yeah, Stake of Marika. Uh, okay, so you can actually respawn very close to it. Yeah, there was a Stake of Marika right out in front of it. So that's at least very nice. Um, so not Latena. Sorry, Latena. Oh, I can't rejigger my flasks, though. Because I now don't have much use for using... Actually? Actually. Fuck it. I do. I totally do. And I'm going to re-equip my shield again, because I haven't been using that. Um, where was it? Albinoric shield. We're on heavy load? We're still on medium load. Alright, that's cool. But, um, yeah. S keep the shield. Bring out the Skeleton Militiamen, which I'm just going to summon immediately again. Okay, and then we're going to flask here, okay? And then we're going to do something a little, a little special. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but it's fine. This is what I wanted to do. That did not very much. Okay. Oh, God. Does it, does it ever stop? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. I'm so bad at dodging that. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, I need to switch back to the to the pata. This this was a mistake using this weapon. And now I'm dealing with both of these guys on my own again. Well, there's one skeleton militiaman left. And I didn't grab my runes. This is great. Gonna attack. Thank you. 
Okay, not good. Not good at all. Switch to both. I, I... Okay, let's just... Aim it! It was up in the air when that happened. Heal. Oh boy, not what I want. Okay, this is fine. Our skeleton militiaman is like holding him off. And I'm fine with fighting one of them at a time, though I am taking substantial damage here. He's gonna swing. I should have realized that, but I was already committed. Ah, fuck. All right. <laughs> this guy's still going. <laughs> what a what a hero. <laughs> All right. Okay. Grab that, and I will actually chuck some holy pots here. I'm gonna take this guy out first. He's annoying me. Well, not when we do it like that. Oh my god. I don't have enough heals. So I, if I die again, speaking of dying again, I grab my runes. It's fine. Uh, let's not be near them. Okay, and I want to take out the other one. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh, fine, I'll fight this one. I can't, like, not be committed. Jesus! I wasn't expecting, like, a full 360 attack arc there, but, alright. That did nothing. Okay, and fire. Jesus Christ. What, what, what do you do if you're in the middle of that? Like, what, what's the warning? Hey, this is fine now. Well, no, it's not, because now the other one is here. I'm moving back up to the front. Ooh, still alive, barely. I don't think that's going to last for long. No, I, I don't got anything else. Need to continue fighting this one. Okay, that was fine. Never mind. Did a backswing. Ah! Okay. Oh, don't like it when they're staggered like that. I can't. I can't avoid both of them. Well, I'm sure I can, but I have to time it perfectly. Wow, that was just bad. All right. Well, sudden death. I technically had my flask of wondrous physics, but functionally I didn't. All right. I'm switching my flasks out, and then I'm gonna give this another try. This is uh, this is a hard fight. No, you come here. Stop it. Ah, fuck. Right into the fire. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Well, I am if I don't use this right. Okay. Can we... Wish you could tell which one was which. Yeah. The, uh... Ah, great. We're, we're on our own again. And we basically did nothing. It's gonna spit fire. I should have realized that. I saw its head bobbling, and I'm screwed. I'm fucking 100% screwed here. Man, these are hard when there's two of them. Very least, I don't need to expose myself to. Okay. Focus. Why did that not hit him? Did you see that? Like, I was clearly... Like, the blades were hitting him. It just didn't. Oh, God. Not both of you. Guys, leave me alone. Okay. I'm giving the militiaman time, so that's something. It's okay. Pull back. This one. This is the one we need. Nope, nope, nope. Draw this away. Don't be attacking the militiamen down there. Okay, let's not get hit by all of that. Okay, down they go again. One of them is permanently dead. And I haven't done nearly as much damage to these things as I would have wanted, because I keep detargeting and hitting the other one. But... They're such a pain in the ass.
they just have so many AoEs and fast attacks. And if they start, like, staggering them, like, if they're perfectly synchronized, it's okay. Then you can dodge both of them in one go. But the moment they start, like, staggering the attacks is when it starts to become very problematic. All right, militiamen are down. This is, uh, getting a little bit risky again. I get, like, a hit? Just just one without getting hit for it? That'd be great. Okay, stop spitting fire. Do your thing. All right, I know what you're about to do. You know what? Fine. You're gonna run in circles around me. I will just attack you again. What? Like, see that? That is such bullshit that they're invulnerable for a split second. So I was hitting him again, but it did nothing. So, I, I call a bit of bullshit there. Like, overall, these enemies are fine. I, I, I don't hate them mechanically like some of the enemies in this game. Ah, what was that? Okay, well, at least it's dead. Now I think it should be super easy. Riding, I don't do anything stupid. All right. Hey, very good. Skeleton's back. All right, we got him. Goodbye, dear lord. That took more attempts than I'm willing to admit. And we get the mad pumpkin head ashes. I don't know why we get the mad pumpkin head ashes from these guys, but I guess we do. Um, let's actually find out about them, because I've been wondering what, what their deal is. Are you an elite? No, you're just a regular one. Spirit of a mad soldier with a large brawny physique. Though he has stifled his panic within the darkest confines of his helmet, he rampages as if driven mad when agitated by bloodshed or the humming of insects. This mad soldier is all that is left of a broken gladiator. Huh. Interesting. Let's get out of here. I am done with this... Catacomb. And, uh, I think I'm done with today's episode, too. Uh, sit by the bonfire so that I can use it. But, uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we are finally making headway into Kaelid. We have uncovered some dirty secrets about Saluvis. And, uh, I think we saved Nefeli Lu from some sort of nefarious, awful fate. Uh, hopefully there's more to her character. I'm sure there is, afterwards. And, um... Yeah, I wonder what kind of repercussions that's gonna have on Ronnie's storyline. Um with us potentially running into trouble with Celevis. I don't think Ronnie's going to care too much if we end up fighting each other, though. I think she's perfectly fine with her uh, subjects killing each other if they feel like they need to. Um, yeah, we've progressed the White Mask Vare storyline, so we're waiting for the di the Mogwin dynasty to arise. And we'll see what happens there. And more importantly, we've embraced the frenzy. And we'll see what happens with that, too. Alright guys, leave it a like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Heritor, out.